Technical Veterinary Learning Channel The Founder and Producer Ev Professor Ahmad Mamdouh Al Sharif Professor of Epidemiology and the Infectious Diseases of Animals Ex Head of Department of Veterinary Medicine Ex Vice Dean of Faculty of Veterinary Medicine Benesweif University Egypt Wine Hendra virus infection. Equine Hendra virus infection. It is an acute disease of horses transmitted to humans. Equine Hendra virus infection characterized by head tilting, vision loss, increased breathing. Elevated heart rate, nasal discharge, weight shifting between legs, muscular twitching, fever, urine inconsistency, animal walking, inability to stand, and encephalitis. These symptoms are present in equine infected with Hendra virus. History of Hendra virus infection 10 days before exclusive outbreak of Hendra pre-span in late September 1994 a pregnant mare has been transported to Hendra stable from a paddock where researchers were pasture for a rest period. This horse developed severe respiratory symptoms and died within a day of arrival at the stable. This is the first case of the outbreak, although diagnostic evidence of this suspicious is lacking because no tissue samples from that horse were available. Investigators searched the stable of horse trainer Vic Rai, who did after contracting a viral infection from horses. The virus was isolated and characterized by staff at Krizu University and was later named Hendra virus after the Prispan subpart in which Vic Ryle stables were located. The source of this history is Benden O'Malley Prispan Courier Mail April 29, 2009. Queensland Australian authorities on Wednesday, 1994, confirmed that a horse had dead of Hendra virus on a farm of South Prispan. The virus, which can spread from horses to humans, has killed four of the seven people ever infected by it. Equine viral arthritis disease characterized by the following. Number one, acute respiratory signs. Number two, a portion in pregnant mares. Number three, necrotizing vasculitis of a small arteries, which leads to edema in various body parts. In 1994, Diagnostic Australian team isolated and identified what proved to be a new virus that had not been previously reported anywhere else in the world. Researchers initially named the virus equine morbelli virus. However, further genetic analysis showed that the most appropriate classification of the virus was to place it in a new genus within the family Paramexoveridae. It was later named Hendra virus after the name of pre-span suburban in which the original outbreak occurred 
and with the cause of the disease outbreak known. Researchers develop diagnostic tests from 1994 up to 2010. 14 clusters of Hendra virus infection were recorded in horses. Then in 2011, Australia wasted of unprecedented spike in the number of Hendra virus cases in horses in both Queensland and New South Wales with 18 outbreak and 24 cases in horses reported. During 2011, where also the year that the first dog tested positive to Hendra virus, this is an expected transmission to a new species prompted an additional six million dollar in government fines. In July of 2011, the first confirmed outbreak of Hendra virus west of the Great Divided Range was reported in Chiang Chaila. Charting perceptions that in land horse communities were safe from the virus. The science community agreed that a vaccine specifically targeted horse was critical to breaking the cycle of Hendra virus transmission from animals to people as it would prevent the horse developing the disease and passing it on. Epidemiology of Hendra Equine Virus Infection Number 1. Pathogenic Risk Factor Virus Classification Unranked Virus Realam Ribu Verera Phylum Ortho Neveri Order Niga Rivacoda Superfamily Mono Givicitis Family Mono Givirales Subfamily Bara Mexoveridae Genus Hemba A virus Species Hendra Hemba Virus This diagram of the Hendra virus structure number a it is the major structure feature of hendra virion and order of the genome as a schematic diagram of hendra virion demonstrating major structural features number b order of the genome number c hearing bone appearance confirmed by hendra virus Nuclear protein can be demonstrated by electron microscopy. Number F, fusion protein. Number G, glycoprotein. L, large protein. M, matrix protein. N, nucleocapsid protein. P, phosphoprotein. All of this are present and diagram in this schematic diagram a picture of electron micrograph of Hendra virus color the transmission electron micrograph of a Hendra Hemba virus virion where it is about 300 nanometer in length artery virus family includes in addition to the alpha artery virus equidae, porisai reproductive and respiratory syndrome virus PRRSV, lactate dehydrogenase elevating virus LDV that infect the mice, simian hemorrhagic fever virus SHFV which infect monkeys, Hendra virus is a large polymorphic enveloped RNA virus. Studies shown limited sequence homology with respiratory viruses, negligible immunologic cross reactions with other paramexoviruses. 
Hendra virus is genetically and antigenically closely related to Nipah virus, which is shares more than 90% of amino acid homology. Both viruses have been classified in a new genus, Hemba virus, in the subfamily Paramyxovirus. Hendra distribution all over the world. Last Hendra outbreak in the date of 18th of July 2023. The location in Australia, Newcastle and New South Wales cities. The details an unvaccinated horse dead from a case of asymptomatic Hendra. Property was Accessed for risks and no transmitted cases were identified. Human deaths zero, horse deaths one. Hendra virus transmitted by all flying fox species only in Australia all over the world. This map showed the geographical distribution of the four major flying foxes species in Australia, which were shown Hendra virus infection for both human beings and equines. Animal risk factor Animal risk factor for equine viral arthritis disease All family equity are animal risk factors, horses, donkeys, and mules. Equine viral arthritis infect all the family equity, including horses, donkeys, and mules. Since the first diagnosed in 1953 in Ohio states and United States of America, all the family equity across the world are susceptible to the disease. A portion rate of 50% in pregnant mares exposed to the virus for the first time. It has been reported in all breeds of horses. All ages and sexes are susceptible. The disease will spread rapidly in susceptible horse population, resulting in high morbidity and low mortality rates. The stand-bred horse population found that 70 to 90 percent of pregnant mares who has been exposed to the virus will be aborted. Human and flying foxes. One case of dog was reported without confirmation for next outbreaks. New study that uses 25 years of data from Australia suggests that environmental changes have been driving viral spiral overs by radically alerting the ecology of black flying foxes. Red flying fox pads. Hendra virus uses certain species of fruit pads as hosts. Habitat loss is being blamed for the spread of the virus. Flying foxes are the natural reservoir of Hendra virus. All four species of flying fox found in Australia can harbor Hendra virus without L effect. Sources of infection the source of the virus is a wildlife host. The rigorous, petropoidal pets, fruit pets, and the flying foxes, petropods species. Approximately 25% of petropod pets, including representative of all four bane species in eastern Australia, the grey headed flying fox. Petros poliocephalus, the black flying fox, Petros alicto, 
the little red flying fox, Petrus Scaplatas, and the speculated flying fox, Petrus Consipulatas, were identified as being serosensitive for Hendra virus. The pets are seropositive for antibodies to Hendra virus, the only seropositive mammal of 34 wildlife species sample, and the virus can be isolated from petropoid postpartum uterine fluid and fetal tissue. The mechanism of spread from pets to horses is uncertain, but it's speculated that ingestion by horses of infected bed fetal fluids and tissue might transfer infection from pets to horses. Fruit pets are consistently present when the disease occurs in horses. Transmission of Hendra virus In this schematic diagram of transmission of Hendra virus, pets to horse transmission is documented, but vice versa is questionable. Horse to horse transmission, the first reported about two outbreaks in Queensland, Australia, reported in 1994, and then horse to human transmission with the same date. Bats to human and the human to bat transmission are questionable. Hendra virus survival in nature were decided by three major lines viral load, equine exposure, and equine susceptibility. Viral load decided by local bat density, abundance of bat food in trees. Rate and duration of pet feeding visits, infection prevalence or shedding rates, viral load excreted. The second major road is equine exposure. This is decided by husbandry, pastoral quality, green forage under trees, nutritional status, equine behavior. The three major Road is equine susceptibility. This is decided by innate immunity, acquired immunity, and drought of exposure. Pathogenesis of Hendra virus. The incubation period of the spontaneous disease is about 8 to 11 days. Schematic diagram of equine Hendra virus pathogenesis. Hendra virus enters through inhalation and parenteral invasion. Inhalation causes interstitial pneumonia of variable severity and respiratory manifestations as a clinical signs, while parenteral invasion causing neurotropic and vascular tissue thrombosis, where edema and hemorrhagic vessels, wall of vascular endothelium of subarachnoid and the cerebral vessels, renal granulomatous and pelvis, lamina propria of stomach, spleen, various lymph nodes, and myocardium has been detected. This leads to muscular convulsions and severe neurologic disease. Clinical signs Prognosis of Hendra virus infection is very bad, where 75 of lethal rate in equines and 57 percentage in human beings were reported. Clinical signs detection with wearing of protection clothes number two and three to prevent the transmission to veterinarians. Rectal temperature described by A and heart rates described by B of each horse after experimental infection with Hendra virus in Australia. 
data were collected by using of electronic monitor along with comments of general demonstrator. Data were used to determine a human endpoint of each animal where fever were described in the beginning of the disease and during the encephalomyelitis or nervous manifestations. How to spot Hendra disease clinically? You can do that by presence of one of the followings fever, lethargy, depression, loss of appetite, ataxia, blindness, head pressing or tilting, aimless wandering, and death is with 24 to 48 hours post the first sign. Laboratory form of Hendra can be spotted by presence of fever, tachypnea, tachycardia, copious frothy nasal discharges, intelligent infances, and death is with 24 to 48 hours post first sign. Also, severe respiratory disease of Hendra appear with fever, hemorrhagic nasal discharge, swelling of the head, muscular tremor, severe respiratory distress, clinically in apparent infections, terminal colic disease, and death is also reported 24 to 48 hours post first sign. Transmission and the clinical signs of Hendra. Hendra virus, it is one of the Australia's most lethal viruses. Hendra virus causes 75% of deaths in equines and 57% of deaths in humans. The flying foxes are the natural host for the Hendra virus. Australian flying fox population link it to areas of Hendra virus presence. Clinical signs in horses are head tilting, all the signs of meningoencephalitis with fever as well as respiratory manifestations. Hendra virus infection in humans resulted from close contact with respiratory and the bloody secretions from infected horses. But transmission from pets are questionable. Clinical signs of Hendra virus in humans are fever, cough, sore throat, lethargy, meningitis or encephalitis can develop with following signs, high fever, headaches, chorea, convulsions, and nausea. This picture shown a horse dead from pulmonary edema with hemorrhages and froth in the airways due to infection with Hendra virus. This is a picture of drowsy horse with tinkling head. A picture of Kolki Hendra virus infection sign post mortem lesions of Hendra virus infection in equines. This picture describes dilatation of lymphatic vessels and ventral lung loop margins of horses experimentally infected with Hendra virus in Australia with original magnification multiplied by 10. Pulmonary edema with hemorrhage and frothy in the airways due to Hendra virus infection during the respiratory manifestation. Trachea with massive frothy fluid extending from the lung parenchyma filling the entire trachea due to respiratory manifestation as this horse experimentally infected with Hendra virus. Laboratory diagnosis. Sampling blood from live animal 
unclotted whole blood collected in an appropriate anticoagulant, like edita and or heparin at the early febrile stage and sent at for centigrade to the lab. Number two, post-mortem 10 ml of blood can be collected from the jugular vein in addition to the submandibular lymph node and the swabs as pair a life hose. Field experience suggested that it is relatively easy to safely collect jugular blood from recently dead horses. Picture showing scientists scramble to stop Hendra outbreaks. Hendra virus is classified as a biosafety level 4, defined as posing a high risk of life threatening disease in people, and using of safe work practices and personal protective equipment is essential to manage risk of human exposure. Diagnostic tests Number 1. Viral isolation in virus cells and Imaging using electron microscopy demonstrate presence of the brain. Viral isolation and fluorescent antibody technique. Number two, immunoassay, where this picture showing positive immunofluorescent stain of red kidney 13 cells infected with Hendra virus isolated from uterine fluid of pets. Number three, immunoproxidase. Number four, serological examination by complement fixation test, agar gel immunodiffusion test, ELISA test, and viral neutralization test. Immunoproxidase test and serological examination by complement fixation test, agar gel immunodiffusion test, ELISA, and viral neutralization test. This is schematic diagram showing relative abundance of Hendra virus proteinaceous RNA in different host tissue at post mortem examination after experimental infection with Hendra virus in Australia. Values are expressed relative to the ribosomal 18S cubes and tissue origins are indicated along the Y axis. Samples are not available for testing. The tissue were collected of the samples described all over the body of the experimental infected horses from adrenal gland, brain, cerebrospinal fluid, trigeminal ganglion, guttural pouch, heart, kidney, large intestine, liver, lung, lymph, bronchial lymph, from, uh, head uh, lymph, inguinal lymph, renal lymph, meninges, nerves, olfactory, loop, pharynx, small intestine, spinal cord, spleen, and ovary. This is slide of cross section of a blood vessel taken from the lung of infected holes. We noted the multinucleated giant cells Situated at the lining of the blood vessel, these giant cells are caused by the action of the fusion of protein of Hendra virus. The source are Dr. Peter Huber, Crisu Australia Animal Health Laboratory. This is a fluorescent stain, has been in the bottom panel on the slide to highlight the virus in yellow-green tissue. Histologic and immunohistologic findings in Hendra virus infected horse tissue. Section A, hematoxylin and the eucine staining shows systematic vasculitis affecting the lung. Section B, showing Immunohistologic examination by using of polyclonal rabbits anti nipa and protein indicates Hendra virus antigen in a blood vessel in the brain, where the scale bar represents 15 micrometer.
Brain vesiculites in experimentally infected horse with Hendra virus. Number A slide, it is for parenchyma. And number B slide is for ovary with magnification of multiplied by 200. Lymphadenitis with syncytial cell formation in horses experimentally infected with Hendra virus in Australia immunohistochemical staining of Hendra virus in the protein showing presence of antigen in red original magnification is about 200 differential diagnosis Differential diagnosis of equine hendra virus infection have to be differentiated from equine herpes virus 1 and 4, equine rhinitis virus A and P, purpura hemorrhagica, equine infectious anemia, equine uh, viral rhinotrachitis, African horse sickness, leptospirosis, all equine diseases causing neurological disorders. Prevention and control. Treatment. There is no specific treatment for this disease in equines. Ribavirin has been investigated for use in infected or exposed human, while it is not used in horses. Control measures in the described Hendra equine infection outbreaks included Number one, slaughter of all infected horses. Number two, extensive serological testing. Number three, control of movement of horses within a defined disease control zone. Number four, the disease in index cases is likely attributed to contact of susceptible horses with infected fluids of protrude pads and intervention that prevent or reduce the frequency of this occurrence as sensible. An effective vaccine is available and its use is strongly advised in horse living or visiting areas where the disease is endemic. In addition to preventing a disease in horses, the vaccine provides veterinarians attending horses in endemic area with some level of confidence that the horse is not infected with Hendra virus. Strict biosecurity measures must be used by veterinarians examining potentially infected horses in areas where the disease is endemic, although this practice is often met with social and war. Because of the protein nature of the disease, all sick horses should be considered as a source of infection. Number nine, biosecurity practice should be in place of examination of all horses and the degree to which personal protective equipment is used can be adjusted based on the risk that the horse being examined is infected. This is schematic diagram showing Hendra virus immunotherapy where the structure of Hendra virus and where the antibody can attack virus and prevent infection, this is will occur post vaccination. Equivac Hendra virus vaccine for horses is an effective vaccine is available and it is used in strongly advised in horses living or visiting area where the disease is endemic. This is a picture of Equivac Hendra vaccine of horses. Equivac Hendra vaccine in May 2011, Crisu Animal Laboratory announced the development of a prototype of vaccine for horses which was engineered soluble version of the G glycoprotein of Hendra virus known as Hendra virus SG. This vaccine previously developed in 2001 by Dr. Christopher Broder 
and Catherine Poussard of the Uniform and Services University in Batches, Maryland, in USA. This vaccine was tested in several animal models in collaboration with Crisu Laboratory Animal, part of extensive evaluation process where it was found to be potentially protective against Hendra virus infection. Following vigorous safety testing, Crisu Laboratory Animal, along with its partner, launched the Equivac vaccine in November 2012. By March 2013, scientists confirmed that horses were immune to lethal exposure of Hendra virus six months post-vaccination. This vaccine enabled commercial and the private equine activity to continue with minimal negative impact by increasing personal safety for horses, owners, veterinarians, and other regularly interacting with horses. It was enhanced security for the Australian horse industry and reduces time spent in quarantine. Equivac Hendra vaccine is world's first commercial vaccine for a biosafety level 4 disease agent. The vaccine has reduced costs attributed to future disease response and contaminant and minimized the chances of the Hendra virus mutating and spreading more readily between horses or from human to human. The Australian Veterinary Association now recommends that all horses in Australia are vaccinated against the Hendra virus vaccine by Equivac vaccine. In August 2015, the Australian Pesticide and Veterinary Medicine Authority announced it has now fully registered the Hendra virus vaccine. Following a detailed assessment process with the vaccine meeting every assessment criteria for registration. Keep on the track with Veterinary Learning Channel by subscribe to this channel in your mobile, lab, or advanced tabs. Thank you for following us.